Hello, everybody. My name is Subhash Arja. I'm a Senior Director of Product Management here at Versec. In this video, I'm going to demo a new feature that we released as a part of our VSP 2.7 product, um, which is called Guided Probe Deployment. And the, and the goal here is to make probe deployment easier for all of our users by providing a visual guide to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of deploying a probe. So let me jump right in here. So what you're seeing here is the main dashboard on the CMS UI. Um, we added a new page under Deploy called Deployment Profiles that now allows you to create new deployment profiles for your probe and also edit existing deployment profiles. So let me go ahead and add a new profile here so you see what that interface looks like. Here I'll call my uh, profile my Linux profile um, auto start. So here I have options that I can choose for different fields and different commands. So for example, the CMS address, uh, LFR address, etc., are pre-populated with values that we typically are uh, typically our customers don't modify. Um, I'll go ahead and select Linux as my operating system. These commands vary slightly between Linux and Windows environments. Um, and then finally, I'll select auto start because I want to auto start my VSP services after successful install. The advanced section has options that we typically see most of our customers not modifying. So we have some preset values that are set here. Um, usually our customers are, are leaving these at their default values. So I won't touch any of those for this example. Um, I'll go ahead and hit save. The other thing I want to point out is right out of the box, we provide default Linux and Windows uh, deployment profiles so that on a fresh install of VSP, you can hit the ground running with deployment profiles without having to create your own. Great. Now let's go in and actually try to use this profile for deployment of the probe. So I'll go into the probes page here and we now have an add new button where I can click on that add new button and now use my profile. So I selected my Linux profile auto start. Um, step two, I get commands from the CMS UI on how to obtain the probe based on me choosing Linux. So we have a wget command and then a chmod command to change the executable permissions of the, of the script file. I'll go ahead, I would go ahead and execute these on the host. And then finally on step three, we have the simple command that we can copy and paste into the host to actually execute and install the probe. And all of these options are reflected based on my selections in the, in the, in the deployment profile that I just created. And then finally, because I have auto start enabled, the probe will start automatically once it's done installing. So here, what we provide on step four is a simple command that you can copy and paste on your host to see the status of the, the probe once it's installed and once it's running. If I had auto start disabled, so let me choose one that's uh, the default Linux VM, which has the auto start disabled. What you'll see on step four is the command to actually start the VSP probe once the probe is, uh, is installed successfully on the host. Hopefully, this, the step-by-step -step guide with the default profiles allow you, allows you to reuse deployment profiles so that you can replicate the deployment of the probe across several hosts, as well as makes it a lot easier for you to find these options and choose them and reuse them without having to rely a lot on our product documentation and switch back and forth. Thank you very much.